David it's Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we're focused on Jesus advancing his kingdom and preparing his disciples. Now we've been studying the wilderness journey where the Lord took the Israelites out of Egypt uh, where they had been slaves for several hundred years and then he took them miraculously through the Red Sea and then into the desert. It was the desert that the Lord was going to use as a teaching ground and a, a place of training and preparation so that the people of God would be able to thrive in the promised land that he had promised to their forefathers. And so we've already learned how the Lord had already begun to teach his people some very important lessons that they really had to learn if they were going to be successful in the promised land. And that was a lesson that primarily concerned faith. They had to learn how to trust in the Lord, no matter what they felt like, no matter what they saw, no matter what was happening circumstantially around them, they had to put their trust in the Lord. Well, soon after the Lord led them into the, into the wilderness, we have already studied how they ran out of water. And unfortunately, instead of trusting the Lord, they grumbled and they complained, but the Lord met their need. So what was he doing? He was teaching them. He was training them that he loved them, that he could be trusted, and that they could put their faith in him. In fact, they had to put their faith in him if they were going to be successful in the promised land. Now, soon after that, they um, began to ask the Lord for food because they must have been running out of food. And so the Lord miraculously uh, rained down from heaven that which they called manna. And that was going to be the Lord's provision for them that he was going to give them throughout their sojourn through the wilderness for, for 40 years. And so we see that the Lord was teaching them once again that he loved them, that he was going to take care of them, he would provide for them, and that he could always be trusted. Next, the Lord led them into another place where they uh, once again ran out of water. And this time the Lord met the need in a different way. Now we've already studied all this, but this is just a recap that I want you to understand that the Lord really was teaching his people that which they needed to know in order to fulfill their destiny. They had to know that the Lord loved them, that he could be trusted, and that they must walk by faith as we have learned in the New Testament, as Paul taught us. Uh, for we walk by faith, not by sight. But you see, not only was the wilderness a place of, of teaching and training, but it was also a place of revelation and impartation. All these places that the Lord had uh, led them thus far that I've already just spoken about, these were not only things that the Lord was using to teach them and train them or prepare them, but he was using them to impart into them revelation of himself. Remember when he uh, gave them water and the water was bitter and then he told Moses to throw in that, uh, that stick of wood and it healed the water. And what did that teach him? The Lord said, I am the Lord who heals you. Hallelujah. So he has already imparted into them a revelation of himself. You know, when you go through hard times, one of the first things you need to ask Jesus is, Lord, what are you trying to teach me through this? What about you do I need to see so that I will be able to successfully get through this triumphantly? Well, the Lord was teaching them. He was imparting them to them. He was giving them revelation. But, you know, whenever the Lord does that, whenever the Lord uh, imparts something into your spirit and gives you a revelation of yourself, you can be sure that the enemy is not just going to be still. He is going to attack with all that he's got because he hates to see God's people walk with the Lord successfully. And that's exactly what happened next. So you need to listen to tomorrow's video. It's going to be very interesting on how the enemy tried to stop what God was doing in his people's lives in the wilderness. We'll see you tomorrow.